Right, micro wave, or as you well know, to you and I, microwave, or as every chef in the country knows, Chef Mike. Whatever you call it sometimes, I promise you, it can be helpful on certain occasions. This is the Ramsey Classic. It is a beautiful sticky toffee pudding, and I promise you, it's done in 10 minutes with my amazing assistant who never answers back, Chef Mike. Right, Oscar, pan down, let me show you. So, the big secret behind any Sticky top pudding, the dates. We're going to slice them up, mix them a little bit of bicarb. That's going to literally cause a bit of reaction. It will start to puree those dates. Then we're going to make the cake mix with beautiful brown sugar, butter, flour, egg, and this baby here, golden syrup. We all grew up with that. So delicious. Then onto the sauce, finished with a nice tart, creme fraiche. Right, let's get 10 minutes on the Chef Mike. <laughs> right. Power up to 100, okay, for 30 seconds. Now, you're not gonna believe me, this is actually gonna be done in the microwave. It's a beautiful, fast track, sticky toffee pudding. Here we go, dates. Now, come on, we all love a date, unless you're my assistant, Justin Mandel, who hasn't had one in four years. But these are soft, chewy, delicious, and more importantly, I'm hoping after this lockdown that he does have a date and she decides to stay with him. But, now, dates, slice them nice and thinly, okay? Once they're sliced nice and thinly, just put them into a bowl, okay? And then from there, literally, a little teaspoon of bicarb, okay? Now, this literally helps to break down the dates, okay? A little touch of water in there, just a touch. And that will start almost pureeing the dates. Chef Mike, are you ready? Here we go. Right, on. Power 100, and let's go for 30 seconds, and go. Now, let's start the actual cake mix, okay? Let's get the butter in, okay? Alongside the brown sugar. Now, start to cream that, okay? Best thing to do is get the back of the wooden spoon and just literally lightly beat that. And what happens now is that we start to sort of break down the butter and we form this really nice sort of batter. How long left? Uh, eight minutes, 30 seconds. Now, from there, cream with the back of your spoon, OK? And literally, sometimes I put my hand at the bottom of the bowl, and the heat of my hand starts to melt the butter nicely. And then, look, mix that up. Nice. Once we start to cream that, in, that butter starts to melt, and the sugar starts to disintegrate, in with a nice tablespoon of this beautiful syrup. Now, in and over. Twist that around, back up. You don't spoil any. Beautiful. Now, from there, use that spoon to clean that off. OK. And then, literally, Start creaming that up. Now, it may sound a little bit bizarre using Chef Mike, but trust me, every chef uses them. And sometimes they're just great for reheating dishes. And as you know, a microwave cooked from the inside. So, you have to be very careful. Egg, flat surface crack, lift up, and beat that in. Now, now you can start to see this batter sort of forming. But use a spatula, clean the spoon, and clean the sides as you go along, and then flip over. Now, once you start using the spatula, we're incorporating a bit of air now, and that's going to make the mixture a little lighter. Good. Time, please. Uh, six minutes, seven. Just under seven minutes. Great. Now, if it starts to separate, cut off a little whisk and just give that a really nice whisk. And that'll get your batter really nice and smooth. OK. And here we go. Chef Mike to the ready. Now, once that's nice and smooth, it should look a little granular like that. Nothing wrong with that. From there, get your dates. OK. And look, they've broken down a touch, OK? They've gone, literally, almost like a nice puree. Back in there for another 30 seconds. 
in we go. And that starts to break those dates down. Now, butter, sugar, syrup are in. OK. And then from there, give that a really good whisk. That nice and smooth. And now look, just on. Now, from there, dates out. You can see what's happened there, look. Look at this nice, beautiful date puree. In goes the dates. Beautiful. In goes the flour. OK, we're going to sift that in there. Make sure there's no additional lumps. And this is where it goes up a notch, OK? Normally, we'd be steaming these and baking them in the oven with paper on top and sort of steaming them for 45, 50 minutes. It's a really nice, fast track way. Now, whisk comes out. Give that whisk a nice shake. And then just a couple of turns. And whisk comes out. Get the spatula in there. We get that nice, even distribution of that flour through that mix. So now it's looking like a really nice, delicious batter. Right, bowl. Make sure it's nice and dry. Brush generously with your butter, OK? And then just lightly, vertically, put those strokes up. That will help the sticky toffee pudding coming out. And it is just a light smidging of butter. From there, almost like a sort of half a tablespoon of flour. Shake that around. And then just line that mould. And all that does is stops it from sticking. Once it's gone all the way around, back in. And then, look, get your mixture and fill it two-thirds full. And now, this is where the magic starts. Back on, two-thirds full. Just in there. Now, give that a gentle tap. That lets the mixture all the way around the bottom. And now, take some kitchen roll, OK? And just sit that on top. I'm going to go sort of 30 seconds times four into Chef Mike. The paper helps it steam to begin with, then halfway through, we'll take the paper off. Chef Mike, work your magic, my son. Work your magic. In. Now, set that to 30 seconds. 30 second increments, right? Chef Mike, work your magic. Right, pan on. Now for the beautiful Campbell sauce. So that paper helps to steam the top. And it should be about two and a half to three minutes in Chef Mike's oven. First, in goes your butter, OK? Now we're going to make this beautiful caramel sauce, melt that butter. Sugar goes in. And now we're going to start a caramel. 30 more seconds. There we go. Now, melt. Melt your sugar. So. For the beautiful sauce, I've got brown sugar, butter. In there, I've got some double cream. And then to finish the top, I'm going to put some creme fraiche on top of that pudding. Bring that to a boil. I'm going to add a tablespoon of that beautiful golden syrup. Chef Mike is working his magic. Time, please. Now, stir that sugar. Let's check on Chef Mike. Now, look where we are. Take that off. And that is getting there. OK. Beautiful. Now, Chef Mike does tend to be a little bit dirty. OK, so, like all good chefs, work nice and tidy. Look at that. It's started already. Take the paper off, back in. Chef Mike is on overtime today. Mm. Now, sauce. Look at that. Melt the sugar, the butter. Syrup in. And then fold in your cream. And that's going to make a beautiful, an amazing caramel sauce. Melt that syrup. Chef Mike. And then add your cream in there. Now, Cream goes in. That stops the sugar from burning. Back onto the stove. And look at that. 
It's got this beautiful aerated toffee, beautiful syrupy sauce. And mix that in, off. I want that really nice, beautiful, syrupy, lovely toffee sauce. Time, please. How long? One minute. Come on, mate. Come on, Chef Mike. Monty. Right. Mmm. That smells good. That smells really good. Get a little knife and just go around the outside. And then on. One, two, three. Drop. You ready? Oh, you beauty. Mmm. And then you get your sauce. And you just coat that. And hit it on top so it sort of falls over. We call it nappe. And it's just like this perfect, beautiful mound of sticky toffee pudding. And then look, you've got your creme fraiche, your sticky toffee pudding, and just to be ultra chefy, get some toffee on that creme fraiche. And there you go. A beautiful sticky toffee pudding in 10 minutes, thanks to Chef Mike. To all of you, thank you for watching Ramsey in 10. If I went too quick, I apologise, but slow it down. Now, don't forget to pick up Ramsey in 10 cookbook inspired by this series. And trust me, you're going to come out a much better chef. And if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe to my amazing YouTube channel for more. Good luck.